Brekkie. For breakfast, I just made a little avocado toast with some eggs and then had some blueberries on the side. I'm thinking I'm probably going to head out of the house to work today. This week is not like a super busy week, but definitely is a week where I need to get lots of things done. And I feel like just starting off the week on a good note and getting out of the house, getting lots of admin work and just lots of things done outside of the house sounds like a good plan. I'm also gonna go grab my planner, do a little bit of planning, but I'm all showered, dressed, ready for the day. Probably will end up putting on a little bit of makeup after this just to feel a little bit more put together. It is Monday, so I feel like that is something that probably should be done. But I'm gonna eat breakfast, do a little planning, and then we're gonna get on with the day. I just wanna make your heart sing, but you're not letting me Before we head out to a coffee shop for the day, I am just going to drink my little Magic Mind matcha shot. You can either drink it at the matcha latte or just like a straight productivity shot like this. A big thank you to Magic Mind for partnering with me on today's video. You guys might have seen this in my previous video and I've been drinking them for the last little while now. But like I mentioned, they are a productivity shot made with matcha for energy and then new tropics for focus as well as some adaptogens for less stress and vitamins for immunity. So like I said, either make it as a matcha latte and just add ice and milk or drink it straight like this. Cheers. I will leave the list of nootropics here, but two of them are lion's mane and cordyceps mushrooms, which help boost focus and clarity. Overall, a little magic mind shot helps you resist procrastination and impulsivity. I have been loving it for days when I really need to hone in focus, or if I've just been kind of feeling off and kind of stuck scrolling on social media or just stuck kind of focused on the same task and I can't get anything done definitely has been helpful and I have been loving it. It's got like this little subtle sweetness and you guys already know I love matcha. So whether I'm just drinking it straight as a little matcha shot or having it as a matcha latte, it is delicious. Magic Mind also has a 100% money back guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, no questions asked, they will give you your money back. They also have given me a code for you guys. It's just Vanessa to you, but only with one eye to get up to 56% off your first subscription within the next 10 days so i will also leave the link down below for you guys but it is a little supplement that i absolutely have been loving definitely recommend if you need a little bit of a boost of productivity it is quite literally a shot of productivity in a little bottle but i'm going to pack my bag we're gonna head out to a coffee shop and get a ton of work done today now that i've had my productivity shot it's time to actually be productive <laughs>
we got just a regular almond milk latte today. Added some brown sugar. We are back home now. Alan and I actually ended up going out for lunch, which does not happen often. And we have not been going out for meals a ton recently. So we decided just to go out for some Thai food, got a little pad thai, and it was so delicious, you guys. But it's nice to be able to get out of the house, work, sometimes grab meals out, and then come home when I still have work to do and kind of just reset. But the caffeine is flowing in my system. We've got the coffee, we've got the magic mind because your girl has to stay up kind of late, late for me tonight. You guys know I'm not a night owl whatsoever at all. I am such a morning person, go to bed at a reasonable hour. But tonight is the midnight launch of Sarah J Ma Mass I say Ma, I don't know if it actually is Ma or Mass, but the third book in the Crescent City trilogy launches tonight at midnight and Indigo invited me out for the midnight launch. And you guys know I love all of her books and just her writing style is beautiful. And so tonight we're heading out to that. And like I said, that's at midnight. So I kind of have to be alive and awake for the launch that is at midnight, which brings me to my next point of do I read the next book in the Crescent City trilogy next? Because I've only read the first book and I recently finished Assassin's Blade and I told you guys I was going to pick my next book to read on the vlog and I haven't picked another book yet. And since the third book is launching, I'm like, do we, do we dabble into that nearly a thousand page book next or do I read something else? first. That's my current dilemma of trying to figure that out. I feel like I need to get the book after the launch tonight and then tomorrow figure out what book I want to start reading. I just feel like those books are so dense that it will take me a while to read because it is like almost a thousand pages and I don't know if I want to get another book in red of 2024 before I start reading that book. That's kind of my thought process but I do have a little bit more work to do this evening and then we are going to head out for that tonight. I'm so excited to bring you guys with me. So the question of the evening was what does one even wear to a midnight book launch and I'm going for kind of comfy and cozy. Maddie is picking me up soon and we kind of went for a similar outfit vibe. But I just did kind of like oversized crew neck, dressed it up with a ton of jewelry to make it look like a little bit more than casual, but like still comfy, cozy jeans and I'm gonna throw on my New Balance sneakers. Honestly, I'm really excited. You guys know I'm such a big Akatar gal and I've been loving Throne of Glass. So the fact that I got invited to the midnight launch of the third Crescent City book is just kind of surreal because I feel like I've been a book girly but I'm not like a book blogger or anything. So I think this is gonna be so much fun. <gasps> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Bringing out all the bugs. Where did we go? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you carrying both of our bug bags <laughs> into the freezing cold. We secured the books. Maddie literally still has not even read Crescent City. Not even the first one. Or any? No, you've read Throne of Glass. I've read it. Throne of Glass. Period. Point blank. <laughs> None. Nothing else in the series yet. But that's okay. We we got our books. We're heading home, it is past our bedtime. Yeah, and now I have to read it. Like, guys, we don't have an excuse anymore. No. <laughs>
Good morning. We are on the go this morning. Super sunny, super cold, but we have a latte. I last minute booked a brow update appointment. So we're going to get my brows redone this morning. Also, if my eyes start watering, it is just so cold out today. Hence the hot coffee to go. But we're getting my brows relaminated, updated. It was totally last minute. So this was not originally the Tuesday plan, but here we are and I thought I'd take you guys with me. So let's go. back the brows are looking full and fluffy we also did the tint not as dark this time and I feel like it just looks a little bit more natural because the first time I got the lamination I did the brow tint way too dark and it just at the time it matched a little bit better because I also had a little bit of a darker tint on my hair but now that my hair is back to my natural color it just it matches so much better but now that we are back home, I am going to head straight to the gym. Today is upper body day, so I'm gonna go hit a little bit of back, maybe a little bit of chest, tries, buys. I would have normally went first thing in the morning, but today's schedule got a little bit out of whack, so I'm gonna head to the gym now. Valentine's Day being soon is apparently getting me in a colorful spirit because I have not worn this purple set in probably almost two years, but I pulled it out of my gym wear drawer today and was like, let's go for it. But we're gonna do chest, back, full upper body workout. protein powder protein shake I thought we would do a little bit of an unboxing haul because I got a few packages in when I got home before I jump into work I thought we would just unbox them together this giant cylinder from say beauty Let's see what's inside starting off we have the glowy super gel dewy illuminating fluid I have heard so many good things about this as well as the fluffy brush, which is going to be used for their dew blush. They sent over a whole bunch of colors of their new dew blush. Oh, there's even more, oh my goodness. They have eight new shades of their dew blush. This is insane, you guys know I love, 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 love a liquid blush. Look at all these colors. These are so pretty. I already feel like I'm gonna love Sweetie and Baby. Those are like the two here, the very pink ones. I feel like I just love a good pink blush. Oh, these are stunning. Next up, we have a little box from You Beauty. Ooh, okay. This is their new super intensive facial oil. This is going to be perfect for gua sha my face. I've been wanting to start using my gua sha more. I know you're supposed to like super oil up your face before you use it, so. This is going to be perfect, and I already love so many of you beauty's products. Next, we have this fairly big box. Karu, Karu, Karuma, Karuma. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sent over some of their shoes. They sent over two pairs of shoes and a little note. Okay, the first one they sent over is the Solvis Premium Leather Sneaker. This is so cool. It's like a full sketch of the shoe and it's just their classic leather sneaker so they just look like this i'm going to have so much fun styling these i feel like they're a nice basic sneaker but have something a little bit extra second pair is their oca sneaker and these are a canvas lace-up sneaker and again in all white they know me i'm just a basic white sneaker gal but all of their shoes are made from recycled and eco-friendly materials so very excited to be trying and just diving a little bit more into sustainable clothing it's definitely something i'm always trying to be more conscious about is finding brands that are more eco-friendly and sustainable in both their practices and also in their products as well so very excited to try these out and then last up we have a little box 
from Mac that says National Lash Day on top. Oh. Wait, how did I not know Mac made mascara? Oh my goodness, there's four different types of mascara in here. We've got the Magic Extension. We've also got the Infinite Build Volume and Length. The Mac Stack. And then we also have an Extreme Dimensions 3D Black Lash. Little Baby Extended Play Giga Black Mash, like a small mascara. And then they also sent me over a lash curler, which funny enough is perfect timing because my lash curler is like coming up on almost 10 years old and it's kind of getting gross. I do replace the like little rubber pieces every so often, but I have finally ran out of all my replacements. That is my little PR haul. It is now time for me to jump into my work day and get started on some admin work. It is health cafe tonight, so I will have to work this evening as well, but gonna jump into my regular work day which is basically sitting on my laptop for most of the day so in honor of Valentine's Day coming up we're doing a little Galentine's health cafe yoga tonight this is about the only pink thing that I own I'm not a pink girl whatsoever at all but playing into the Galentine's Day theme completely this is a little root sweater I think I actually got it last year on Valentine's Day if I'm not wrong, I think it was just from last year's collection. But we're gonna have some flowers and candles. It's gonna be a total self-love Galentine's Day yoga tonight. And then everything is so pink themed and cute. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I thought I'd bring you guys on. I feel like just showing more health cafe. You guys keep asking for it. So I'm gonna take you on tonight's setup and tonight's yoga class as well. recently especially on busier nights like this when I do have health cafe and it's just a later evening because I don't love eating late is making a giant one pot meal so tonight I literally just did chicken drumsticks and rice in one pot and then I made some broccoli to eat on the side and I not only have leftovers for the next three days but it also is just something super quick and easy to put together so that I can kind of relax and de-stress right when I get home. And also I think tonight I am just in the self-love Galentine's Day mood now and I'm going to have a bath, which I'm not a huge bath girl, but I feel like having a bath and reading in the bath tonight. So I'm gonna eat dinner, we're gonna pick my next read together and have just like a nice self-care, relaxed, de-stress night in. Time to pick a book so we can go read in the bath. Last time we picked from this side, so I feel like it's only fair that this time we pick from this side. So let's see what we got. First thought is, like I was saying earlier, to read the second Crescent City book, but let me just show you how thick she is. If you don't already know. <laughs> if I want to read Crescent City book two next, which is House of Breath and Sky, this is her, she's literally massive, giant hardcover book, and it is also 700, no, 805 pages. Option number one, do I want to, in the beginning of February, start off the month with reading a giant book this big? I don't think so, but that is an option. I could also start the Caraval series. That's another option. Option that I think is best appropriate and I think I'm just gonna go with is starting to read Six of Crows. So many of you have told me to start reading this book and I've read book one and book two of the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I don't really wanna read the third one yet because I read the second one recently and I don't love that storyline. I just don't love Alina. I've talked about this. I kind of find her annoying, but I've heard amazing things about Six of Crows Maddie has raved about it to me, not only Six of Crows, but the second book as well. So I think this is the winner.
happy Friday, you guys. This morning, I so far I've just made a matcha, had my breakfast. I woke up this morning with a sty under my eye and it's been like super puffy and hurts and swollen. I don't think it looks as bad on camera as it is, but super irritating me this morning. I feel like my morning has just been off to such a weird start. Um, so we are starting Friday off like that, but I do have a bunch of work to do this morning, but this evening should be fun. Alan and I are going out for dinner, so that's kind of what is up today. Midday update. I ended up starting to do some makeup. The eye is doing a little bit better, still pretty puffy, but I'm hoping it's doing okay because it still hurts like crazy. I don't know why this happens to me. Always on the worst timing too. But anyway, started doing some makeup because Alan and I are heading out for dinner this evening at Black and Blue. I'm so excited for this because we went to Black and Blue when we were in Vancouver almost three years ago, which is crazy. And now they finally have a location in Toronto. So we're doing kind of like an early Valentine's Day and previewing their Valentine's Day menu today. So super excited, but I still have to pick an outfit and finish up my makeup. But anyways, Alan dropped me off some flowers this morning. So I ended up just putting them in a vase and putting it together. These are so beautiful. And like, yes, early Valentine's Day, these were my flowers for Valentine's and I gave him like a little box of chocolates. We just decided to do an early Valentine's Day this year because around Valentine's Day gets super busy. I know I have a few things going on and so does he. It's like Super Bowl and some other stuff. Yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys that because it's so cute and it's like the perfect mix. Roses are my favorite and then like the little baby pink carnations as well. It's such a pretty sky out tonight, you guys. We haven't really been having sunsets this winter, but this is so clear and beautiful. However, I do need to pick a dress now. Black and blue is pretty fancy. Ooh, I had to turn on a light because it's getting dark, but black and blue is pretty fancy, so I don't really know what exactly I want to wear. It's still cold out, so probably something long sleeves, I'm thinking. I also have this long sleeve dress, which is pretty, or this green one, which I've never worn. Okay, I'm gonna like look through and find something. few options here. I have this long sleeve green dress that I've never worn from Princess Polly. It's got like ruching and it's so pretty. I have this knit dress from Revolve. I don't really know if I feel like wearing a knit dress. It's also super, super long. Or I have this tank and then I have a matching silk skirt and I would probably wear like a little sweater and like a giant overcoat because it's still cold out. I feel like I'm leaning towards either the brown or the green and I just need to try on both and see what I'm feeling. So I decided to go with the full brown set. You can't really see it. I'll show you guys when it's all put together and done. But I think I'm gonna do my hair back into a like mid bun and then curl my bangs because they're just so long right now even though we just cut them. But I think I'm gonna curl them. Mind you, this Outfit looks really good if I just like slick the front and tuck it behind my ears because I don't think I'm gonna wear a sweater or anything because I think it ruins the look. So I just wear my hair down and I slick it. I think I'm gonna change it. I think I'm just gonna leave my hair down. I think I'm gonna slick it and put it behind my ears like this. I think I'm gonna bobby pin them and tuck them. Hair is done. I also did a little lip touch up. My all time favorite date night or just evening perfume is the YSL Libre or Libra. It is just so good. It's very subtle, but like very romantic. I love. Here's the full little date night look. I'm wearing, I ended up wearing the full set. I'm wearing some little black heels. I also have my little just black Gucci purse. And then I'm gonna throw on a big wool coat because it is still kind of cold out. This is the look. Just 
tell me I just wanna be your bride Wanna be I wanna give our love away So you're not letting me We're finishing up with some A little strawberry shortcake dessert Yeah If you let it go down 